Welcome to the What We Remember Rundown for Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2 Chapter 9 The Marshal. My name is Bradley Jones, with me is Andy Moldenhauer and Andy Hubert. Let's get going. The boys are back. The boys are back in town. <laughs> Nailing it. We got all. The, we got a weird name. We got monsters. We Star got Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Mandalorian gets some sweet armor now. Oh my goodness. We're back. John Favreau directed this. And who what an episode. And yeah. I, as soon as I heard the music too, before I even queued up the show, I was like, oh man, I missed this there song. Was some, there was some new music that they really tried to like to put in there. They bring the N-U they tried music? to massage some new oh. music in there. At the intro or no, just no, no, throughout? Just throughout. Oh, okay. Like when they're riding on their speeder bikes yeah, yeah, and yeah. doing like sweet cowboy stuff. You like the music? No. <laughs> but it's new. <laughs> well, you know, at least they tried. <laughs> at least they went for it, you know? You can't win them all, oh, yeah. right? I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys notice any difference with The Mandalorian considering that the guy is just doing the voice now and not Ooh, the actual... Ooh, I didn't know that. Actual... Oh, you yeah, didn't know that? Yeah, they, uh, they yeah, did yeah, say they yeah, were yeah, he's doing voice, voice only, and now they got a different guy doing acting the physical the role. part, yeah. Huh. You didn't know that? Why? Because so we can do more sweet action stuff? It wasn't necessary. So they don't have to pay him as much? Oh, <laughs> probably, I, probably. Are all these true? All yeah, these? That might be true. <laughs> all of these answers are true? Uh, well, they could probably just get a stunt guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. To do all the, all the stuff. Way cheaper to do. Probably, I don't know if they did. Yeah, just get like a stunt person to do this. I mean, it's the Darth Vader, you know, style. <laughs> yeah, it's been used before in this Pay you know, someone in this rate. universe. I don't know. I think I might be missing something, but there was almost intentional disconnect between him and Yoda. Like they didn't interact a ton in this episode, and that's where right. like that's where Pedro Pascal I think really sh- shined. This hmm. is love, is love of the child. You know? His ab- ability to emote through his body language. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess I didn't really pick up on that exactly, but they. You are right. They didn't actually interact that much in this whole episode. No. Nope. Do you think that's what we're gonna get through this season? I just don't think they want to blow their load on Yoda powers, like, right out of the gate. They kind of, like, did too much. Mm-hmm. It had, like, healing, and it used, like, force stuff, and it it was, it was just doing too many things. If Yoda gets a lightsaber, it's, like, over. Like, <laughs> we're done in this series. <laughs> we don't even need Mandalorian anymore. Man, I... I'm yeah, I'd be, I'd be scared. <laughs> I'd be scared at that time. <laughs> this episode set up a, a, some se- a serious season, though. At least the end revealed it. The episode felt like the, think mi- so? the middle of a, of a season. Oh, well, the end... Yeah, the end... Well, the end is like a... It's kind of a continuation. It is like a bit of a continuation. He's still being hunted, and he has this Yoda thing that we keep calling Yoda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he does have a goal. The he, he is set on a path to return the Yoda. Yep. He does have, like, yeah, the defined exactly that, what he's that's doing That's the now, season one goal. Yeah. Or season two goal, rather. Is to get Yoda put, back. Put the Yoda he back. even says that, like, I don't know, ten minutes, five mm-hmm. minutes in. He's trying to get it back to its home. Yep. Is it? Is that what? It, back to its home or back to back to it's somebody back who to knows race? Back to its kind. Yeah. It's kind. Yeah. It, uh, maybe they'll finally like name eh? a race. They'll give the, the Yoda maybe a race. Find, yeah. Finally. Maybe they'll name a planet. Even you know that'd be cool. We got nothing. Yodan. <laughs> Yoda. <laughs> I mean, until Baby Yoda, I think we there never was knew. Only, there was only two. We never Yoda knew it was Yoda. All of canon. Yoda Nato. Um, I still feel as though this series. Is doing like these like one off episodes in a way. I love them. I, I I'm not saying I don't love them. That's a different thing. Yeah. But yeah. I, I feel like it's very. It's just like. Well, we got to get some one offs. I I, I I you know I have been a publicly a very huge fan of Monster of the Week episodes uh-huh. for any just series generally. Starting from X Files and it, it, into like, your regular life, mm, this is, yeah, yeah. 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 You prefer I, to every day is disconnected from happen. the last. Yep. <laughs> well, I was like, I told you yesterday, and I was like, What do you mean? What is yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> it's Monster of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, do, I don't know. Do you guys get that vibe? Because I, I felt in the first season that it wasn't pushing like an overall narrative. It was kind of like it was pushing goal. an overall narrative, mm, but, but, but that there was, was like four or five like very succinct. side adventure. Yeah. I think the it first got caught up in side adventure. I think the first season took a long time to start to be established. Mm-hmm. Now the, they don't have to do that. The arc. And they so, yeah, like this one, they can bring that arc in pretty much any time and people will understand and be able to move with it versus the first season where yeah. the, the first the two episodes, episodes and the really last two episodes started. were, were the story yes, that's and the true. middle four were just kind of that's what's how, going on. Yeah. But now we're just all into the what's going on. Mm-hmm. 
But what, what is else, actually so? going on in this episode that contributes to a story? Well, let's talk about it. <laughs> Please. The movie, or I'm going to say movie. Oh, every, t- every time. The episode starts with Mandalorian and Baby Yoda coming up on some sort of like criminal planet. Yeah, it it's kind. like a... Crimetopia. Yeah. A little hideout. It's like Walter Hill Warriors it's a blind land, but yeah, Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> Where there's like graffiti on the wall and X'd out like uh stormtroopers and there's like little critters with eyeball red eyeballs. I've been watching the like back there. Yeah, I'm watching Running Man and Escape from New York, so I just felt at home. I was like, <laughs> Did I, am I watching the right thing here? Am I just okay. And he is trying to meet somebody, I forget that person's name, but it's played by John Like Lozamo. Yes. Oh, is that I, who that I was? didn't realize that until well, after the episode. What's his name? Cusk or something? Yeah. Should have wrote the, it down. The guy with the one eye? Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, obviously, it was a lot of graphics, but mm-hmm. it looked good. He sounded a little violator, don't you think? Don't you think he sounded a little like the violator? The violator? Yeah. Who's the violator? From Spawn. John Leguizamo did the oh, voice oh, of the clown. Wait, is Gosh, that what his name right. was? Yeah. The vile? No. <laughs> We've I talked about this oh, before. Boy. No, we haven't. And no, it's not. The violator? <laughs> he's called ta- the violator. No. He's well, that's the- horrifying. Uh, he's, um... <laughs> what the... He cuddles the clown, Brad. He turns into that big, scary demon. And that's, that's the violator. No more clowning around. I'm not the vindicator, or the victimizer, or the vaporizer, or the vibrator. I'm a violator! Yeah. S to the P to the A to the Y. <laughs> S to the P to the A to the Y. Go Spawny. Go Spawny. I never know what he's spelling because that's not really a thing. <laughs> S to the P. To the A to the Y. Spay? <laughs> I was like, John, what does that mean? But I quote that a lot. <laughs> And there's like a sweet. What are those guys? Uh, t- G- Gamorian guards yep. having a, a a duel. Yeah, they're just duking it out in a ring. With but they axes. have like shields or something. Yeah, that's what it looked like. So it looked a little World of Warcraft to me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they're pretty green. <laughs> they were a little green. They were a little too green. I mean, they're from uh, Return they're of from the Jedi. Donkey Kong Country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is it? <laughs> Now I just want to see like a blood sport Star Wars movie. Though. Absolutely, give this me is that. the problem. Ryan Johnson's got his three movie. Give me one, Ryan. <laughs> I'm gonna see different me- Star Wars races fighting yeah. to the death, blood sport style against John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, <laughs> as himself, he could just be himself in this <laughs> on top of two semi trucks, nonetheless. Oh man. <laughs> And he, uh, Mandalorian, comes up to John Leguizamo. is asking for, I heard you know where some other Mandalorians are. He's like, all the ones I knew died for mm. no reason. That's not my fault. <laughs> but I need to know where more are. I thought it was like a yeah. trick, though, because... He also did know where a bunch were, because he just left a planet that had like 30 of them on it. I don't... I don't I, nah, I'm not going to look... Who, the I'm Mandalorian? Or, they all yeah. died. They all died? Yeah, the pile of armor that he walked past at the end because he was like, oh, the Empire killed all of them after I zoomed away. At the, at the end of season one? Yeah, when he goes to see the armor for the last yeah, time. That, she has that like, is true. There's like a big old pile of Mando helmets from all but the dead bunch, ones. But a bunch of them rescue him from the sky. That was before that. But then what? they fell out of the sky, Brad. No. Oh. Empire <laughs> comes down and murders them all. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> All that sweet armor. Yeah, they did. Yeah, right. Well, you Where's just that left at? it. I don't know. Mel- Our, melted down. The other armor with the armor lady was like, "That's mine. Don't touch it." You're right. I'm rich now. John Leguizamo is he? It's like a double cross. Didn't he like kind of convince him to come there so that they could steal the baby? Is yeah. That what's, is that is that what's actually happening? Well, he here? wanted the uh, armor. He wanted the armor. He, oh, he wanted yeah. the armor. That duh. People yeah. don't know what the baby's worth right now. They just know Mando and the baby cannot be separated. Yeah, I mean, the going rate for a baby is not that high. It has to be a special baby, mm-hmm. and they don't know it's a special baby. They even try to separate him, and he's like, the baby comes with me always. Yeah. So do you think the bounty hunters know this is a special baby, or they're no. just following nah. the order they're just, of yeah. capture the baby? Mm-hmm. I think only the Empire know how valuable Yoda is, the baby Yoda. But he has those little rocket things in his... Uh, his I forgot about those. Yeah, was it like the So humming, he gets double-crossed, and he gets held up at gunpoint. Yeah, then he just beats the crap out of those he guys. He just like, and, shoots yep. off these Kills like, a lot of people. Missiles. I did really like Kills how like people. all these people kept trying to punch him, and he just kept like Ooh. headbutting their fists because With he's like, his I'm helmet. wearing a metal helmet. Why <laughs> are you trying to punch me? I was like, why are these guys punching him? The one guy, I thought he... With his head. Yeah. I thought the one guy may have had like metal fists or something. I mean, he was... He was a zab. 
Abrak, and so they are Ooh, real oh beefy. Obviously, Andy. Here is come Abrak. the nerdy Mortal Kombat. That's what, <laughs> it's what Darth Maul is. They have He's the like little horns Sindel on character. their head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! This guy's read too many books. I also at the same point too much Wikipedia. I, was like, I, have, I have definitely us a lot. I've definitely not read too many books because I know the people who have. And good <laughs> lord, some of those books. <laughs> I guess yeah, it's all relative. Oh my goodness. So he yeah he fights and uh, basically like hunts down this one guy because he mm-hmm. never actually told yeah. him where the one Mando was. Yeah, and catches uh, him with a rope. He lasts him. him up. Ties yep. him up from like a light post. Yeah, strings mm-hmm. him up. And then the guy tells him that he's got to go back to Tatooine. Yeah, we've already been I love there. that We're back yeah. to Tatooine. I didn't really like that man. It was just like, I was there already. <laughs> I don't so want to go back. <laughs> there wasn't any. I was just there. But he's got to go back. I guess. He could pursue another lead, but whatever. See, that's what I'm talking about. Where are we going with this episode? It's not you. Did, did, did come on? You didn't play Fallen Order or whatever. You got to backtrack to the planets all the time. <laughs> oh my god! You get the new unlock. So and You got to go open the new path. We went all this way for a treasure chest. <laughs> Mandalorian says that John Leguizamo won't die by his hand. He instead shoots the light post off, this. and all the little red creatures. All come these out crazy creatures. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Down. It was such a cool shot. It was good. Oh, all so amazing! They show up. Yeah, you just see like Mando walking towards the screen, oh. and then all of a sudden, all these like red eyes in the background are mm-hmm. lighting up after he blasts that light. No, so yeah. good. Before we leave the scene, Yoda hides itself in its little egg carrier. <laughs> yeah, yes. it, like presses a button and then like ducks back in. Yeah, as soon as he's like ready to use the honing <laughs> missiles, yeah. Yoda's like, "I'm out of here." <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so they go back to Tatooine, yeah, where they, they run do. into the mechanic lady. Yeah. Right. Not Tracy Ullman. No. It's not. What? Uh, I mean, come on. It's the strangest looks with like candy her. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Amy Sedaris. Amy is that Sedaris. who it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She she's has, great still. Yeah. And Mando's like, ah, droids are cool now. I, yeah. I was a droid. I met, racist, I met a droid that not. was okay. Yeah. I, I met one of the good ones. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> it's true. Oh. <laughs> So she like repairs this ship, or yeah, but she also like him tells him where he needs to go. Yeah, yeah. How, how does he know where to go for this Mando though? Um, because she like points out this, she pulls up this map and shows him yeah, a couple different that's places, right. and like one of the places isn't there, but it is there. Maybe yeah. that's why it goes there because it's like not actually showing like, up on the I like map. Like she shows him the map and she's like, "And here's the other one." He's like, "There's nothing there." She's like, "Well, it was." And I'm like, "Well, then uh, log into yeah. your Google what account and this? drop a new pin there, man. <laughs> Update your map." What good was showing me this empty planet yeah. for? <laughs> yeah, and I was kind of annoyed by the uh, the mechanics of all of it because she was like, "Here." here and she's pointing and then she was like and then up here but then the screen went down oh. and I was like oh, yeah. come on man we're gonna put well. that stuff in later <laughs> was it an R2 D4? R- this is an R5 unit R5, which we you see in episode 4 Luke buys one before he buys R2-D2 mm-hmm. and then it blows up it's got a bad motivator which if bad you read motivator. <laughs> <laughs> which if you read the books well, it did on purpose so that Luke would buy R2-D2 as the Force. The Force Don't did that? Don't read the books. <laughs> what? <laughs> they have to explain everything. Gets, see, that's the problem. There's like a whole people book, like the yeah, mystery of all this. There's like a whole story dedicated to this robot that like had to make sure its destiny was fulfilled and that R2 went to Luke. When you start to overly explain complicated oh, things, gosh. it gets like... Too ridiculous. Amy Sedaris does say by the Force. Is that the first time the Force has been mentioned in this series? Mm, I don't know. Anybody? Um, does anybody know this answer? I don't. I don't actually know. I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, well, way to ruin the suspense. Right? All the <laughs> listeners were, were, couldn't well, they, wait. They must... Uh... See, I'm thinking that they must know what the Force is, but then I'm also like... I feel they like talk as if said the same phrase Jedi the don't season, exist right? right now. You know? I think somebody tries to explain Baby Yoda's powers at some point to Mandalorian. Well, I know, like the one. armor explains that they were like there was a race of ancient sorcerers called Jedi's. Mm. So they call them sorcerers, right? But they don't necessarily know if they had the Force. Yeah, they don't exactly. call it the Force per se. But you know, obviously, like by the Force is apparently some a phrase in common usage. Yeah, she drops it right there. 
Yeah. He borrows a speeder bike and goes to that town. I love her talking with about the baby Yoda. Like when oh, he yeah. whips it around. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I love this little She's guy. like, let me have it. I'm just kidding. But not really. <laughs> She's really good. If it splits her buds, I need to buy one. <laughs> yeah. Splits her buds. That was so good. <laughs> I love the whole scene. It was she good. thought it was like a I, gremlin. I mm-hmm. even didn't mind the pit droids. Yeah. Yeah, they're fine. They're, they're they're fine. They did one, you know... You know, they got, they got like, me, caught up in a tube. They're just bad. How do you make, like, a droid that's just so silly like that, you know? Well, hmm. A silly droid. I don't know. Phantom Menace B- did it really yeah, well. B. George Lucas. <laughs> did it well? Is that... Wow. <laughs> that's a statement. Yes, Candy! <laughs> Look, I'll defend <laughs> episode one, but I will not defend the pit <laughs> 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 See, this is my roundabout way of getting him to say that it was a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> they go to that old west town. There's, uh, he goes like right to a saloon, yeah. which is very like. That's what you gotta do when you're very country western. Old yeah, west. roll into the town, mm-hmm. you go right to the saloon to get your. I'm info. surprised there wasn't a tumbleweed in this town. Oh yeah, or even like a horse in the background. Yeah, and he asks, us. he asks the barkeep, like, "Have you seen any Mandalorians?" And uh, the guy's like, "I don't know. We don't get a lot of people around here." What do they look like? <laughs> what do they look like? And he's like, "Like me." <laughs> <laughs> I really like that bit. He's like, "Oh, you mean the marshal?" And here's where I almost passed out, guys. From excitement or fear or... From excitement. Because you thought it was the Boba Fett. No, because no. of who it turned out to be. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I like this actor. Was this guy like... What you, when you first saw him, was he like really skinny to you? Yes. He, he, looked, he looks he looked the, too skinny. The armor looks like too small almost yeah. for him. And he's, yeah, it looks tall and lean. I think it was his, not... I think like... His clothes were a little too baggy. I think it maybe. was a stunt and they double. Were fitting you think so? Loose. You don't I think, think it was a stunt double? Probably. But he takes off his helmet... And it does have a little bullet on it, and he's got he's got the Boba Fett armor. And guess who it is? What's his name? Timothy Olafantastic. Timothy Olafant. <laughs> Timothy Olafant. Is he Oliphant. the guy from uh, Go from Deadwood from Justified? Justified. A girl's yeah. next door. Is he in that show? From, that uh, Las Santa, Vegas show. Santa Clarita Diet. What was that Las Vegas show? Las Vegas. Is it that show? With uh, James I think so. Wasn't he in that show? <laughs> Probably. Oh, I don't know. He's got. He does work. He's, Die yeah, Hard. I kind of might four? know him from that. He's been in a lot. Yeah, it's true. He's like the villain in, in that one, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He gets around. Well, man. He does. He's an amazing actor. He's a good looking him. dude, too. And he needs, wow. like, I mean, obviously his best roles have been when he's playing a marshal. Because he plays a marshal in Deadwood and he plays a marshal in Justified. Now he's a marshal in Star Wars. He gets around. Mandalorians, though, give me that armor dog. I do like when he when that armor he goes dog. to sit down with the guy and he like immediately takes off his helmet. And the man was like, "Oh, f- what?" Yeah, <laughs> he's like, wait, yeah, wait, he's wait, wait, thrown wait, off because that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, never met a real Mandalorian. <laughs> Heard stories. I know you're good at killing, and probably none too happy to see me wearing this hardware. So. I figure only one of us walking out of here. But then I see the little guy. And I think maybe I pegged you wrong. Who are you? I'm Cobb Vance, Marshal of Most Pelgo. Where did you get the armor? Bought off some Jawas. Hand it over. So he, he wants that armor back. <sighs> Yep. Um, Timothy Olyphant is not they, a Mandalorian. They think, no, he right. bought he bought the armor from uh-huh. some Jawas. Right, and uh, they they seem to maybe be about to fight. Is it or is oh, it? Yeah. Or is it going they to the about to throw down? They were about do, to have do. A they duel. go to the backstory first. No, they get interrupted by the creature by the sand. Yeah, worm. by the crate dragon. <laughs> Great dragon? Why don't they call it a, a great dragon? Ooh. I kept on hearing great. I turned the subtitles on. What are they saying? <laughs> Wait, I know it's not great dragon. I thought it was great dragon. <laughs> no, it's a crate dragon. They've been in Star Wars forever. <laughs> a crate dragon. You see who this? created them? K R A Y T. You see a oh. skeleton of one in Episode Four when the droids land on Tatooine. It's in the background. Boo! It looks like a dinosaur. Did George Lucas put it there after the fact? I was literally about to ask that. (laughs) That's one of the things that did not get added. (laughs) That was OG. I got a little bugged by the fact that this thing could move that fast under sand and through mountains. I was like, "What? It's it's, it's like a crate dragon, Andy. (laughs) Come on! Why are you so surprised? Didn't you read your space biology book? Through a mountain." I mean, I mean, maybe <laughs> listen to him sigh. Maybe <laughs> he's trying. Uh, he's trying. Maybe it already had a hole almost all the way to the top of that mountain. <laughs> it was like time to open the hole up. Ow. So to move the plot forward, the yeah. great dragon rides through the town yep. and disrupts it. 
Eats a Bantha. Yeah, Eats a Bantha. And I had Tremor vibes. I know oh, you haven't yeah. seen Tremor. I've seen some of it. But there's a part where the Tremor comes in and like the floorboards of the town like go up oh, and down yeah. as it's running through and like that's the whole town like being destroyed by this crate dragon. I was like, is it a Tremor? But it's not. It's just a it's like a big sandworm. It's a big dune worm. Mm. It was cool looking too. Yeah. And I guess it's, like it's a, I guess like it's been menacing game. the town. I, I don't really know. Yeah. It's hard to say. It seems like it's been menacing the sand people more. It does. But Timothy Oli Fantastic, who's ooh, I have his name down. Cobb Vanth. Corn on the Cobb Vanth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Cobb Vanth. Apparently he's been a character in some books before. I had never heard of him. Oh, so he excited like the three nerds who read that. Yeah, book. I'm sure like <laughs> those of you know, people were just like, Hey, it's the guy. Hey, okay, it's I love that Cobb character. Vanth. Hey they Bill! They brought Cobb in! <laughs> they got Cobb! They brought Cobb! The corn Cobb on the Vance. Cobb Vance! <laughs> Cobb Vance! <laughs> no. <laughs> Look what that dead John Favreau gone done did. <laughs> he bought the Cobb Van. And I'd be lying if my oh, name yeah. wasn't Cobb Van. <laughs> oh, my God. That's how you got your name. By golly darn it. <laughs> my name's Cobb Vance. <laughs> Instead of, like, fighting over the armor, mm-hmm. they decide to team they up put that to on uh, yeah. work on taking care of this Let's join up crate dragon to they, destroy the crate dragon yeah, they make the deal he'll give him the armor <laughs> you, you, if the mando helps kill yeah. crate dragon and the mando i love says like right away i'm just gonna go to my ship and blow it up yep and i was like that oh, seems yeah. easy that seems easy but then we got the plot to happen which is so tim the elephant <laughs> says that if you do that the dra- or the the dragon won't come up it'll stay underground yeah he's like it knows when there's ships and then you can't shoot them oh because yeah. it's just like hearing mm-hmm. people moving and but yeah, that makes sense. Plug, plug and hold. That's like what a yeah, fox. They know exactly the fox kind of nerds are going to watch. Catches this. a mouse. <laughs> That's like that. Is it like that? It's exactly yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like listening to it and it's like, uh, uh, and then it just hops and like all of a sudden it's got a mouse under the snow. Classic. Okay. <laughs> That's Andy Attenborough over there. <laughs> These wonderful snow foxes. So what the hell is Cobb Vanth riding? Is that a pod racer it from episode for one? For sure looks like a piece of Anakin's pod racer. It's like is one it of the straight engines. up Anakin's pod racer? I, I think it's supposed to look like I didn't it. really notice. I was the red attention. it's got oh, the red yeah. fins or the yellow fins on the front. They make a big moment of I'm it. I'm pretty sure it is. Because they just shoot Mandalorian on his speeder and then Cobb Vanth comes zooming in yeah. on the pod racer guy. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be. Oh, dear. References. Anakin's exact pod racer. Look, you can't throw anything wow. in Tatooine, okay? Listen, guys, this is this Are we going to see that one guy? Are we going to see Watto? Is he going to come back? That oh, would surprise God. me. <laughs> Wasn't he in another uh, uh, show or something? Wasn't he in like uh, Was he flying a around? recent one? He might have been flying around the background when they landed uh, in the maybe. first Mandalorian town. I felt like it. I don't know. There was maybe the, not. There was Jabba's guy in that spit. That little... Uh, spit? What's, what's its name? It's got a really dumb name. Uh, the little the puppet that oh, Jabba the blue, has, the little blue guy. Yeah, what's that guy's name? I have no uh, idea. I know exactly <laughs> who you're talking about. Though <laughs> he's got a, oh, he's got a name. He looks like um, I know a lot of Star Wars, but I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of Tuscan Raiders are uh, are out here in the sand. Yep, and this is like uh, second time where he has to, he has to talk with the with Tuscan Raiders, but like. He he uh, he's always had a decent relationship with them. Oh I yeah, think. Yep. he does sign language. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Mandalorian have a um. They take pride in being able to communicate with other races for whatever reason. Hmm. I don't know if that was ever communicated, but huh. wow, that's like I feel thing. like the Mandalorian should communicate that better. Oh God. Also, Job, Jabba's pet, Salacious Crumb. Ooh, Salacious crumb. B Crumb. Salate what? <laughs> That's the name of that thing. J- uh, John Linguizamo? <laughs> no, Jabba's pet that gets roasted in that spit. Salacious B. Crumb? Yeah. <laughs> That's an amazing name. <laughs> Please, guys. Named after uh, uh, who's what? Harry Crumb, actually, the the movie Rock- in the... <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it came out like seven years later. <laughs> no, I, I read it on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> John Candy was supposed to play uh, Salacious Crumb, I guess, in the Star Wars. And... <laughs> so there, there's like some bickering with... Uh, oh, yeah. Race riots. Tim- Timothy Oliphant. People don't get along. The sand people yeah. and the sand people mm-hmm. are all like, "You steal the water, and we're on a desert." And Timothy Oliphant's like, "You come to the, to hurt our people," and they're mad at each other. Yeah, they had a fight. They had a they get raided a lot. 
They're Tuscan Raiders. That's what they do. I always feel bad because, yeah, like the the, the man who translates basically being like, they're mad that you killed a lot of their friends. Like that was basically, I was like, oof. And then a lot more of the, their friends died in this episode. Yeah. I was like, these yeah. sand people, man. Yeah, a lot like, of sand people died. They were, like, they were like, let's they not were... kill the people whose faces we can see. Well, yeah. let's kill yeah. the other though, faceless Mando people. Mando literally said they were going to be pawns. Yeah, that's He true. literally, in one of the scenes, was oh, like, we'll no. just we'll throw out a bunch of sand people there and that it'll, it'll come after them and then we... That'll be our chance. Yeah. And there are more than like eight or nine sand people. I'm like, that died. A lot. <laughs> I was like, I mean, that has to be a close knit community. There's not that many of them. I feel like when you know one of them would die, it'd be a big deal. But like, they keep going one left and right in this episode, and they're like, no, let's keep going. Maybe let's they multiply. Maybe they can, you know. You see some bang, like bang uh, sand people emotions a little bit. You know, they have like <laughs> reaction shots when there's no like baby sand people, and I can't tell the men from the women sand people. I don't know how. That's because sure, it could be like like because Anakin said he killed all the women and all the children too. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So um, they bicker over whether or not uh, how to tackle the situation. Yeah, yeah, and like like just regular customs mm-hmm. of the sand people, like drinking this like black like yeah liquid. They, they crunch like a weird coconut, and then yeah. Timothy Oliphant doesn't want to drink it because it smells bad. Yeah, but then they have to like uh, they start arguing, and, and Mando's like trying to like um, he's trying to mediate and tell them that like they need to work together on this problem, or else like the they the won't solve destroyed. Yeah, the they won't solve. He tells them any fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. He shoots off a little like flamethrower. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they agree to work together. Sure. Yep. They go I do guess. some reconnaissance. Yeah. Here's what, the, where do they take them, Andy? They go give them another bantha. I'm like, do you guys mm-hmm. have so many banthas that you're like, yeah, here yeah. you go, banthas all over. And Jeez. where do they take? Where do they go to to find them? To the what the cave place? The old oh, Sarlacc pit. pit. The old <laughs> Sarlacc pit. <laughs> Heading down to the old, old Sarlacc watering you hole. Don't, you don't see no just empty Sarlacc pit out there. Something must have happened. <laughs> Come yeah, on, and- you can't go down to the old Sarlacc <laughs> pit. <laughs> <laughs> so this crate dragon ate the Sarlacc. It ate the Sarlacc. Yeah, it, and there was a great oh line gosh. where he was like, "There, I." I have I don't know what he said exactly, but uh, I've never like, seen I've never, I've never heard, heard of, of, empty, a, uh, of of an yeah. uh, I haven't heard of a sarlacc or I haven't seen a sarlacc and he's like that's why it's empty or I don't know what he said. He's like, yeah. <laughs> no, I, for, I forgot the line. Yeah, I thought you were going so well too. I was almost there. <laughs> Just like farted out of your brain. <laughs> I f- forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it was something along this. <laughs> Cut this shit. <laughs> well, imagine if audio editing means I can put it here. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line forever and always. Yeah. But the crate dragon. Please they- help me with the editing. <laughs> <laughs> help me with the editing. <laughs> they say it lives in there. They say it sleeps. It lives in an abandoned Sarlacc pit. I've lived on Tatooine my whole life. There's no such thing as an abandoned Sarlacc pit. There is if you eat the Sarlacc. They go out there with a sand person and a bantha, and the crate dragon doesn't eat the bantha, and he's the sand person. Hey, Fred. They were trying to lure it out, but Fred got got. Yeah. And the other sand people were like, oh, dang. And the bantha's just like, ooh. Yeah. (laughs) The bantha was just chilling. I was like, bro, run. No no cares in the world for that bantha. (laughs) I think it was tied up. I think it was staked in. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a Snorlax or something. It just right. does not want to move. It didn't move in the town either. I no. was like, usually when they do the whole, like, there's an earthquake coming because the animals are acting weird because they know before the people. Not these banthas. That doesn't like, seem like a fast mode of hey. travel, to be honest. So they realize they need to do a they plan. Need more, they need a plan. Yeah. They also need more people. Yeah, need more people. Yeah. They set up, like, a Lego diagram of, like, the size of the thing, yep. and they argue about that for a while. They're trying to plan out, you know, setting up. We got to be here, here, and here, and then we got to do this, this, and that. But we're gonna need more people. Yep. So they got to go riding back to town, and then they have to Bam convince. This has is to ba- convince. It turns into like blazing saddles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they have to convince like the rest of the town people mm-hmm. to work with the sand people. Sand people, I ain't working with Where, no that's sand, sand people. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, sand person came in, stole my chickens the other day. Uh, See, and this is how prejudice uh, happens. Oh, hell. The Irish, too. <laughs> but, but they do have to work together because... They make a deal again. Mm-hmm. Uh, a big deal where they're like, the same people will promise not to raid your mines as long as you don't kill them again. But it's okay to steal their water, right? 
I mean, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, sounds yeah. like it's not going to really work out for the Sam. And people. the Sam people say they're going to keep the truce unless you break it first. That's, That's their agreement. Yeah, they yep. do. Did you happen to notice that Boba Fett had like an arm? His armor was like had a digital readout thing. Yeah. What does that? What does that do? What is that for? It's it's future. I didn't notice it until this scene. It, like everything else in the, in the production design of the original Star Wars movies, it was looks future. Put it in there. Uh, I thought it was doing. I thought right. it was recognizing or doing something. Maybe it'll come I in mean, handy later. Uh, there probably <laughs> is a real reason on Wikipedia <laughs> for what it's for, but. It was. I, I did like that. Sponsored by Wikipedia. I did like that. It was actually on and like blinking and doing stuff. That was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they gotta go out there. They got so a they, bunch of bombs. They, yeah, they basically like set up a scenario where they're gonna like entice it to come out and just like javelin. Yeah, and like they have like, they have, like proximity mines from James Bond. <laughs> 007 golden eye and they stack them all up stack them up underneath the sand they get the worm to come out they blow the things the worm goes bye bye their frame rates go to three because the tuscan raiders say the boss has a weak point the red glowing underbelly of the monster this this turned into a video game fast i felt like i was playing you gotta gotta shoot inside the mouth but then there's a couple bubbles (laughs) where the eyes are you gotta shoot those too yeah this whole i mean the series frequently does you like like when they explain why they can't use the ship i was like that felt very video gamey to me too just Mm -hmm. like the no the the ship's out of commission oh (laughs) gotta go that way this was like gradius Mm mm-hmm yeah. So they they bury a bunch of explosives from they, the mine. They force like a couple of the Tuscan Raiders to go out there and just go like, "Hey, <laughs> you want to come out?" That was, really, that was really funny. <laughs> I like that a lot. Not I was quite, like, I don't want to be those people. And, oh, yeah. and no amount of running, I don't think. Uh, One of them got at. I think the other two got back. Yeah. There they have a bunch no of like crossbows like set up to try. Yeah, to, they have like, like ballistas. Capture it. Yeah. And they don't see. But that to do doesn't much. do much. They no. shoot them, and then the thing right just out. like yeah, it's able to retract. And yeah, they, the crate dragon knows something's fishy out there. Speaking of fishy, it was supposed to be like but well, whale hunting. That's what oh. it's supposed to be like when you throw the harpoon. You shoot the harpoons in the whale, and you pull them. I mean, I guess. Sure, makes sense. Guys, give me this one, please. Just the one. Who's Ahab in this scenario? <laughs> Cobb Vanth? <laughs> Tuscan Raider? We're going to need a Tuscan bigger Raiders. desert. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a bunch of action each. All there's the a people lot. It's all yeah. It's all like the tons of like people grenades. throwing grenades. Well, we, yeah, just talk about all the action things that you guys liked in this. And, uh, well, they, they basically keep shooting the thing, and it's like, it's going, it's coming, and it comes back out. They mm-hmm. keep firing on it. They're now yeah. shooting guns at there's it a bunch now. Of back and forth. Yeah, and... Uh, they finally it, it, it gets close enough where it's almost like right in front of a couple yeah. sand people, mm-hmm. and they're just waiting to detonate all yeah. those proximity mines. And they hit the boom. Yep. There's Kabamo. that typical like hold scene where like no we gotta hit the button hold no <laughs> yeah. no the button no we can do it <laughs> said hold <laughs> <laughs> asshole <laughs> all right now. <laughs> And now I- <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't do anything. It hurts it a little bit, but it, not what? enough. Not, not <laughs> enough. How many bombs were in there? Not enough. It wasn't really not spot. enough. Didn't hit him in the sweet they spot. They brought like twice as many as they buried. They just get tired. They had a whole bantha full of more explosives. Yeah. They were like, in was case the, we need round was that two. A plan B? Was I don't know. I thought that was plan A until I they mean, buried them. <laughs> like I had the bantha there. I was like, oh, just feed them the explosive bantha. Does nope. this thing have some kind of protective armor that keeps it from not blowing up? The I Tuscan mean, Raider said his belly was weak, but skin, everything else was tough. was tough. Yeah. So why didn't it work then? It just wasn't good enough. Well, that maybe they waited to. Maybe it wasn't. It only right took there. it down half hit points. Mm. They needed an oxygen tank inside its mouth. They depleted the well, shield. They needed an oxygen <laughs> tank inside its mouth. The enemy has two forms. You see, you, you fight yeah. the boss, and then you think it's dead, and then it comes back into its second form. Yeah, you gotta fight Oh, so this form. is like a horror movie. <laughs> like a video game. Michael Myers isn't dead! But the 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 great dragon goes like up that mountain, which it you were does. talking it come, about. It pops out the top, like, what? Whoa. I was like, how fast Hello. did that happen? This thing is and so why? quick. Yeah, it can like sneak up on you. Does yeah. it want to pause and put Even a band aid on for a second? This thing seems to change sizes a few times. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's gotta be bit. bigger than the biggest whale, first of all. It seemed very, it seems bigger than that. It seems it's so way big. bigger. It was than pretty that. huge. Yeah. It's not like yeah. It's not full dune worm size, not quite. but it's big. It's like a baby sure. dune worm. Yeah, baby dune worm. 
It seems. See, nobody knows giant. what you guys are talking about. <laughs> but not like the baby June worm that Paul. And Fine, Monty it's like the sandworm and regenerates Beetlejuice. Oh, <laughs> I told y'all, folks. This is like an episode of Beetlejuice. <laughs> this is the first thing he told us when we came yeah. over today. Everyone has everyone. their favorite sandworm. I he don't was know. all about Beetlejuice today <laughs> <laughs> for like three seconds. <laughs> but they go jetpacking. They do. Yeah, I, they jump up I like right again. next to it yeah. because the they made the such a big deal about uh, how to learn to use your jetpack. And to be old fans, like no problems, Bzoom. zip zoom. And he's like not even a Mandalorian, bro. Well, he just knows what mm-hmm. he's doing then. But he, hasn't of. he had that gear for? Well, he does because I guess he's had he had like a, a rocket. Go yeah, ahead. you can talk about the flashback. We right didn't talk now. about the we, yeah, segue. They they have some exposition on their zooming on their bikes about the the sheriff's backstory, the marshal's backstory. Yeah, so like after the Death Star exploded, like literally they said that night a yeah. bunch of They're um, watching the hologram of it live. Mm-hmm. <laughs> live from the Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess like maybe these were like mine workers or mine security. Yeah, at the, it was like the Death mine Star. guild or something. Yeah. Yeah, and so they just basically overtook the town and took control of everything. And like killed a bunch of people. They killed oh, a bunch of people. They I'm raided like, everything. I'm like, if you're going to control the town, why do you kill all the people in it? Then you're controlling no one. They ran uh, the marshal out of town, mm-hmm. and he was in the desert, didn't have any water, was about to die. Well, he stole a comp tone of weird blue crystal things. That were yeah. valuable to the Jawas. Yep. I, I don't know what those were. Yeah, I've some never, mysterious ore. I'd never heard of those before. I don't know if they were yeah. if they were previous canon or anything. So, but yeah, valuable crystals or that they mine. Oh right, the sand people and the Jawas are different. Yes. Okay. I okay. Yeah. So the Jawas actually find him in the desert. Yeah, they find him mm-hmm. and save him. I was gonna say the sand. And they have the sweet uh, car again, the sweet van, the sand crawler. Yeah. Oh, of course they do. They always have that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, the Crate Dragon can't fight with that thing. Yeah. Just too afraid or something. Leave that alone. That's well, cool. maybe it's kind of like a spaceship or something. It's making too much noise. Too much maybe, noise, yeah. I bet. Could be. So it, we get some Jawas. Does he trade with them? Because that's where he yeah. gets the armor. Yeah. yeah. That's his explanation. The Jawas see the crystals the right there. Like, they're trying to offer him all sorts of stuff because they want those crystals yeah, so what, bad. What were they? They offered him some weird They'd stuff. They offered him a droid. Uh-huh. They offered him uh, like a gun thing. Like That's what it, it looked like, a gun. Mm-hmm. And he was like, no, the armor over there. And it's Boba Fett's armor on the wall. They it's found it. Boba Fett's? What happened to Boba Fett? Oh, because he so, got, didn't he fall in the sand yeah. trap? He got at by a sarlacc. And then and a, it's a this, crate dragon ate this a sarlacc. Uh-huh. Is, so does Jabba the Hutt live on this planet or no? Well, he, he did until he blew up. Well, he did. Right, but he was on Tatooine. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Why does everything take place on this I, planet? I'm telling you, it's Andy, important. I'm telling you, it's an important planet. Give us in the Star another Wars planet. Universe. They do, and it's just more sand. <laughs> we have like three sand planets. Might so well keep sand it planets where it's at. They keep adding sand planets to the series. Yep. JJ yeah. added like two. He did. <laughs> He's like, I need a sand planet, so. but it's not Tatooine. Yeah. This one added one. The first, the first episode's a new sand planet. Yep. <laughs> but um. So he's he's saved by them. He uh-huh. gets the armor, and with the armor, he basically is able to come back into town. Yeah, and yeah. becomes the marshal. Get rid of was, I don't because think he was the marshal before. No, he was just a dude. marshal by name. Yeah, and it's not just like that. He came back to town and said he's wearing the armor. And yeah. they're afraid of uh, Mandalorians. Mandalorians, so they get like scared quickly, and he. He's like got like a, a moment of like a death wish because he like yeah, walks right into that saloon and just like straight up like opens fire mm-hmm. and he gets shot at a couple times and doesn't even flinch. It's that best car armor, baby. He, That's why everyone like, wants it. He had like a little bit of a, like a superhero like, bing, complex. Bing, bing. So we just look. We look over the fact that his his uh, arms and his like legs don't have armor on. Right, Brad. Just have to do. How it. many times in the last season we did the Mandalorian get just, shot in the just, one shoulder piece? We just of have armor. to do it. <laughs> that his arms. Are. <laughs> Shoot his arms off. Because <laughs> you're right. The Boba Fett armor, like it's it, hard to aim for. Arm. The Mandalorian's armor is like the chest thing. You got like one solid piece. The Boba Fett one is like three just little baby plate. pieces, yeah. and I'm just like, no, everyone's gonna. Shoot got, it's like a belly shirt, really. It kind of is. It's got a crop top. A Boba Fett crop top. I'm surprised he didn't die sooner. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> when does he shoot that rocket? He does that. Uh, yeah, I mean, earlier? it's literally like a bunch of dudes. He goes into the place. He shoots a bunch of dudes. Uh-huh. There's a bunch of dudes that weren't in there. They that, jump in the hot rod and they're jump like, in a hot rod. Get out of start, here, Tony. Yeah, and then he just like gets the little he lock in down, like yeah. uh, Google Glass going on, and yep. then he he leans down and shoots a rocket off his back. Yeah, very cool. It's cool as hell. And it Cop really, vamp literally kills all of them. Yeah, he murdered. Those I'm dudes. the marshal now. Look at me. It was pretty badass. It was a great scene. Pretty rad. So he becomes the marshal. Cut to them fighting the sandworm again. Yes. Oh, yes. Sweet jetpacks. Please. 
The Mandalorian has a plan, but he has to do it alone. So, as we all know, Boba Fett's malfunctioning backpack. He does, you, yeah. You barely tap this thing, and it just zooms off. Bring it back. He's like, ha ha. Han Solo did it to him. Yep. And then the Mandalorian is <laughs> doing it to him. <laughs> really need to fix that flaw in the jetpacks. <laughs> and he takes one of the Banthas that has all the bombs on it, and then he gets at by the Great Dragon. Yeah, he does the Tommy Lee Jones. Eat me! Or, uh, or Matthew Pinocchio. McConaughey. Pinocchio. <laughs> That's true. If you want to keep okay. going with the whale wow, reference. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Got it. <laughs> Pinocchio. And so what happens? He blows it up from the inside out and flies out of there with his jetpack? Like but- Tommy Lee Jones embedded in black. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he flies on yeah. out and he's covered in the acid goo. We didn't talk oh, about... Oh, there's... Yeah, this oh, thing oh yeah. yeah! What the heck is what that all that about? about? <laughs> it kills so many sand what people. Those jerk. sand people should have stepped back. <laughs> there's one that was getting drenched in it and he wasn't even moving. No. And I was like, did he know he that... He just wanted it. He oh, they, give me that ass. He's like, action. I hate my life. <laughs> End it, please. As if a, a dragon biting you isn't worse enough. Yeah. You have to burn. add, like, alien's acid to it. Mm-hmm. This dragon's deadly. Yeah, it's a jerk dragon. But it's it's gonzo. Yeah. And the sand people, and, like, mine its, like, body, well, that was, was a, pretty cool. That was the plan all along. They said that the they were going to the the get the carcass. So they probably... Because they really wanted... You go ahead. ...that egg. Remember? It's a pearl. Or is it yeah. a pearl? It is a pearl. Oh. I thought it was an egg. No, nah, I think a, of the Jawas again. No, I mean it's. I don't, I don't think it's un. Who, it's ridiculous but, to think it's an egg. But. In the last season, there was a group that wanted it to eat. Oh, an the egg. Jawas did that want was an egg a jo- in the okay. last one. You're right. Again, I got point. the Jawas and the Sand People mixed up, and I thought that that's was an good. Egg. Yeah, that's wow. true. That's true. They want the pearls, the Crate Dragon pearls. Which Does it if mean you've something? played like a like a Star Wars game, <laughs> that's like one of those. Collect me five crate dragon pearls and continue the quest. <laughs> oh, and you're God. like, God dang it! I thought they were like getting it for food too, but it yes. also sets. Well, up- yeah, Mando well, takes a big old freaking crate dragon steak on the back uh, of his yeah. speeder. He's like, that's for later. I'm gonna grill that yeah, up. Throw some salt, and, salt and peps on there. You but, know. But this sets up that the sand people probably like mine monsters for things. Yes. And maybe they found a Mister. Boba T. Boba T. Fat. Boba Fat. Boba T. Fat. <laughs> that could very well be, and maybe the, I don't know how the Jawas got it, but so yeah. So the the, the marshal hands over the armor. They shake their hands. They say, "Pretty cool job. Pretty cool job. I like you. You're all right. <laughs> uh-huh. Hope to see. Hope, hope to work with yeah. you again. Yeah. We made another NPC friend. I half expected to. him to be like, "You've earned the armor." Blah blah blah. But I knew he wouldn't because that's not very Mandalorian, right? <laughs> yep. But yeah. And then he said my favorite line where he's like, I hope, um, I, oh, and then I hope, uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> how many, how many edits do I got to make? I can't wait for these voiceovers where it's clearly Brad saying, pretending to be Andy. I would love that. Yeah. No, that was, that was a joke. That was a throwback. That was a throwback to, uh, please edit that out. Was it? Or was that now <laughs> yeah, you're covering up? Now you're covering up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you could be doubling down. Oh boy. Oh, yo, Call oh, me yeah. Andy Kaufman. <laughs> But there's one more thing. And then Boba Fett zooms off and suddenly it Wait, goes widescreen. No, who'd you say? Oh yeah, sorry. The Mando zooms off and Spoiler. it goes and suddenly it goes widescreen instead of full frame. And I was like, oh, I kind of like the full frame. And then we frame. see. I didn't think about it until then. We see a we see, bounty hunter. We see Boba Fett. It's, what? It That's is the actor. Boba Fett. Dog. That's the bro. That's oh, the, well, okay. okay. Technically, it's, it's, the, it's the guy who played it's him. It's the guy who played Jango Fett, Brad. Well, what do I know? But Boba Fett's a clone of Jango Fett, so it is the same guy. So it is. What are you? This is semantics. that's his son. Yeah, that's right? his, his clone son. son. Did you guys watch episode two? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, episode two? It's all about the clone. It's not even out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that Boba Fett's in episode two. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. That was the that was Jango Fett's one request. He was like, I want yeah. one clone for me, and these, that's Boba. These I didn't are know whether also... to watch Spider Man at the theater or, or episode two. <laughs> these are notably chapters because yeah, the right. Star Wars movies have the episode. You're titles. right, you're right. Right, right, so right, right, right. That's right, how we right, 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 right. All right, 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 right. But yeah, same guy turns same around. You're guy. like, and he looks all burned, like he was probably yeah. inside a crate dragon. And you're like, and, oh, I, and uh, I like that the paint on the Boba Fett armor was all like worn off too, more so than before. And you're like, fucking acid crate dragon, bro. Did he have like a, a Boba Fett type gun? No, he didn't have like any of his stuff because the jaw was apparently stolen. Oh, uh, okay. It has his right. exact face though. It was yeah, <laughs> so. it was him. And I mean, he's wearing a helmet. The and whole that time. makes sense because I mean, that was the 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 they have the clue from the last season where here when, you he, go. when he kills the lady bounty hunter yeah. and like the feet walk up 
to the the body to see what's up the, the, like the spur sounds and that, they were like that was a boba fett thing like that's the only time you hear that in the original i see boba fett on tatooine it's him I man see okay do we like boba fett is he a bad guy is he a good guy I, we'll finally get to find out he'll mm. be he'll have more than three seconds of screen time well, he want that armor back I mean, probably. I'd assume so. You think he's not dead? He's he, Andy. We saw him. Andy. <laughs> he's at the end of the episode. <laughs> but he's not. Okay. But, like, I haven't seen that that's actually him. It's the same it's actor. It's him. It's the same actor. It's gotta I be, it's get him. it's the same actor, but who cares? <laughs> that's the whole point. He's of wearing a guy. helmet the whole time. <laughs> Isn't not, he? not at the end of this, because he doesn't have his armor. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from. The story has not told us for sure that that is. I know. What? Come on, Andy. I mean, the camera did. It was was basically the camera winked at me. It was like. (laughs) Like a salacious crumb just winked at you. There you go. Did you say rinked? I did. (laughs) The proper rinked at me. Well, I guess we'll have to uh, figure out if that is him. Episode two. Is he staying on Tatooine? I guess so. I can't wait. I can't wait. Chapter 10. Is there a name for it? I don't even look. I don't even know if they reveal the names of of, uh, chapters yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have no idea. We'll uh, keep it going. Yeah. We'll keep watching it, I, I guess. I like the CG dragon. I did. I like him a lot. I all, like, all the effects look great. I really I like, like... the jetpack fighting. That was fun. looks like the budget's come up a bit yeah. more. I like the how much they, you know, they continue to do a good job blending the practical and the digital. I think the, the way they shoot these really does help. The, the kind of where you can see your digital background as you're acting in it i think that does i think they do a it difference too obviously sometimes mm. particularly the shots of like behind mando like going towards a thing mm. it's like you're definitely in the volume like i, I see volume here yeah but uh, other than that i i like it mm-hmm. it looks yeah it looks good i'm excited i mean the the riding on the speeders was a little bit goofy but that always kind of is it was last episode like last season i know i complained about it one episode I think when he was writing it on Tatooine. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah. Yep. A lot of fun. I, I was very excited. I love Timothy Oliphant in this role. And it just worked. It worked so well. Baby Yoda didn't do a ton, like as we were saying. He, he was just, just looking there being cute. Yeah. He was, he yeah, he was just like cooing a lot. Yeah. Yep. Didn't seem to be. He was watching uh, all the same people priority. get that, and he was just like, bummer. <laughs> yeah. He's looking at that worm like, oh, that's a big worm. <laughs> 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 But uh, R.I.P. to all those people that died after that great dragon fight. Yeah, all those so same sad. people. So sad. All right. <laughs> Pouring out for my homies. <laughs> <laughs>